Hi, um, I'm William James, or at least that's what my poet performer name used to be a long time ago. Don't have any poetry for you today, but uh, to talk about what living as a having a divided heart, and you know, you have to. I have my passions of poetry, writing, and I picked up painting in the last few years, and I like I like I like painting, painting with acrylics. And, um, and it's winter time, and so I've been painting a lot of uh, landscapes or seascapes. Because last year, in the winter time, um, around my 50th birthday in March, I went to Hawaii. And uh, but this year, I'm not going to be able to afford that, afford going anywhere. So I just paint a lot of seascapes, and so I go down to the. Uh, beach sometimes and take pictures or to look at the look at the sea but it's really kind of nice escaping into a a painting to escaping into um into a landscape and it's sort of a, a it kind of detracts or it's kind of it's a healing experience because working in a casino is really hard and it's really hard on my soul i've been at the casino for two stretches of, uh, of one stretch of three years and one stretch of two and a half and um, it's a soul crushing job and and it I feel like it has destroyed my spirituality and I'm so much more materialistic than I have ever been in my life and um, you know it's it's and it's you know maybe I'd like to quit but I just live less than two miles from that job and it's just it's just a hard thing to think about, you know, giving up your free time and everything else for a job commute, and then what you make about half as much money or or stuff like that, and and you know, it's just it's just really hard working and working and working, and, and you don't even want to be doing that kind of work. But the bartending is probably of the jobs I've had at the casino is the best one because it's like. It's super highly creative, but it's also the hardest job I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, it's that uh, uh, you have to tell people no. You have to tell, you have to judge people's level of intoxication. Because it's, you know, I'm like one one or two strikes away from losing my job for because of alcohol over service. And then, then who knows, you know, what, what might happen if I don't tell the chain of command you know, something like, uh, or didn't, don't report that I rejected a person's ID because I thought it was fake. You know, all these things and, and all the rules and regulations you got to um, wade your way through because it's casino and casino has, you know, more security than a bank and, um, and all this uh, distrust around money, you know, clearing your hands and, and all that BS and you know the whole un philosophical underpinnings of of the money handling that you have there that you know as you as any person who comes in the door you know they they're every dollar that they own the casino assumes is there now of course they would deny up and down that, that this is true but this is what i get this is what i get from when i read that the policies when I read the the policies and procedures around money and and handling money because even my own tips they're not mine until the end of the day they are mine but if I want to use a single quarter of it to get like an antacid or an aspirin or an Advil or something like that from in the back or a cold pill I can't do it because that money is not mine until the end of the day and so this this whole culture of mistrust and this whole culture of uh, uh, you know, of, of just a lack of spirituality. There is no spirituality in the casino other than the spirit of luck and the spirit of materialism and the spirit of darkness and the spirit of addiction. And that's what makes it really hard for me to work there. And maybe it's hard for everybody to work there. I don't know. I think a lot of people just think about quitting their jobs all the time. Though, granted, a lot of the, the supervisors, they don't. Or I don't know. Maybe they do. Who knows if the upper-uppers do. You know, a lot of the, the people that have been there for 20-some years. Or maybe they found some way to cope with this, this darkness that exists there. 
and I'm having trouble coping, but I've been coping through through art. But I really would like to be able to be more public in my art and be able to have uh, days where I could go to Saturday Market and whatnot and sell my art. I guess this is going to be a long video and it's probably boring and no one will want to listen to it. So good night. Bye.